DC's own experiment is also very unique. Uh, today there are more than 500,000 of these uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, our journey has been uh, very, uh, very, very challenging. Not many aspects, not many people are aware that uh, inherently Indians are entrepreneurs. There is no doubt about it. I think our, our understanding and learning from rural India show that these people are if given a push, creating some passion, zeal, and commitment, they can transform and build a sustainable business model. We are too good. I think the focus has to be to build an enterprises rather than creating employment. That is what the most of the skill programs are meant for. And these enterprises can be phenomenal. Our great story of building enterprises. And then you see one or two examples of uh, guys sitting here. They started with two computers, they now got 25 computers. They started with one people, there were not 25 people working with them in that organization. But they built the whole system through learning. And ICT enables that to develop faster as compared to many other partners too. So I went skill build as I mentioned. We are very grateful to them to try and associate with the CSE and try and transform the lives of people who live in rural India. What next? And how do we try and try and do that part of the work? Uh, to us, I think one of the points with Mr. Chatterjee said that the goals of CSR should be in conformity to the goals of the government. I think that just very well. That goes very well in understanding. Otherwise, every organization set up its own CSR vertical and does what part of the agenda. But you know, comprehensive development taking place in association or in, in, in tune with both the government of India and this is to be do, doing it. We bring this together, we try and work together with organizations in trying taking their agenda and mixing and trying and bringing the government agenda together in order to transform uh, basically rural India, largely rural India. What do we do and what next can be done? Uh, there are 600,000 villages, 250,000 panchayats. The, the government of India vision of Gram Sauraj. I think Gram Sauraj should be kept when we are trying to build a skill build program or skill development program. Earlier we have seen those who have come from villages will see a government, a badai, a dhobi, a kumar, a nai. And these are all traditional skills. Traditional skills. And they were doing reasonably well. They were taken care of by the society as the Gandhi's model of trusteeship was actually implemented in villages. People had to keep each other in mind. The trusteeship and the local skill development create real grounds of Raj, real grounds. Today will that continue? I don't think so. Today that, but we can still build a ground of Raj to a different skill set program. Each of these panchayats can have a mobile shop. Each of these panchayats can have somebody who is supporting in what is called, we, we call them uh, assistant motor mechanic. There are two wheelers, three wheelers running around, and they're likely to be increasing in number. So they can actually be, they can, there are e-cycles coming around, there are e-cycle repair shops. So you can actually create each of them, try and creating one person who does that part of the work. Then there are, of course, new technology and agri implements. Drones are coming, so you can actually create one guy who supplements and supports agri technologies. Mobile shop, you have uh, the uh, agri, and you, of course, have one of the barbers converted to Nai Gaon Mehutada to something which is also very unique, which is also where we learned. A lot of people in villages saying that we also have a parlor. But that parlor is in great demand. Why not we do that part of the world? The parlor will also carry 200 rupees, 1,000 people to 2,000,000 per month. And 100,000 will go into service provider. You still build a good sustainable model on sale of internet. Gaon mein internet consumption, appetite for internet phenomenon. That's our story. That's why we have seen it. We have done that and we are not talking about theory. We have seen that emerging. The appetite for data in rural India is phenomenal. If you can create good, reliable, sustainable delivery model, which is still a challenge for us. So if you can transform the traditional ecosystem of grounds of Raj into this ICT enabled modern grounds of Raj, that can be a great story for skill building. That can be great on that part of the world. So we are doing it and we will be associated, we associate with many partners who support in some part of the world. The second is because the normal skill programs of the Ministry of Skills needs a large classroom. 
and they of course created you know, layers. I think somebody probably copied from abroad and created sectoral skill councils. The sectoral skills councils will become another impediment in order to try and do that. You don't need all that. In a technology, you don't need anything else. Plus, you don't need classrooms. See, if a girl or a boy in one village want to learn, how do I create a classroom? Where does a classroom come? And then you create policemen for classroom. Inspection, this part of the work, and there are somebody who will go and audit. Trust people and try and keep you creating skills. You are not creating examination system for them. Why do all this tamasha and create the value? It is not adding. It is not. And then force people saying, unless you give employment to them, and then people get into the rut of creating employment. आगे पहले से नौकरी वाले को नौकरी से निकालते हैं तीन महीने का कोर्स करते हैं फिर उसी नौकरी में वापस कर देते और दिस तमाशा है वी नीड टू अवॉइड दिस वी नीड टू बिल्ड अ स्किल मिशन एंड अ स्किल प्रोग्राम कीपिंग इन द इथोस ऑफ इंडिया कीपिंग इन द कल्चर ऑफ इंडिया वी डोंट नीड टू ब्रिंग फ्रॉम आउटसाइड एंड लर्न अ क्रिएट लाइक दैट आई थिंक टू मी दैट्स व्हाई द रीजन व्हाई सीएससी डू नॉट वर्क विद स्किल मिनिस्ट्री वी कांट मेक द एक्सपेक्टेशन एंड वी डोंट वी कांट डू बदमाशी So we said thank you so much. We will not do with you. We can't work with you. This inspection model, critic system. In fact, the I was surprised and shocked to actually approve a site that they take eight thousand rupees. I said, "Oh, poor boy, child. Should not take eight thousand rupees. Why should we give eight thousand rupees to somebody? For what? Because you could inspect. Right? But that's your job. So we're creating the layers and we're creating. We're now looking after more about sector skill concepts than looking after skills. That's the job. Why do we create this? Why do you create the layer? What is the value add of these guys? See, the IBM skill program can design programs. They are saleable. They can create saleable. There are large number of organizations who already building skills with their own employees. The same can be transferred. We do it for. We are the one. We actually try and train. Infosys all training programs which they do their employees are now open to CSC people in villages. Anybody who want to learn a program similar to what an employee of Infosys learned from Infosys skill program. Can also learn the village, and we do what we do on single term basis. We also created examination system for them. What we call the remote coping examination system. We the first time built it, realizing the value, saying that in rural India, a girl or a boy cannot go to for examination. Then, case two hundred meter three, or girls are not even allowed. Can we do the exam in the same location where she stays or where she studies in the same place? It is possible technology, and we have seen. It is far better than a physical examination system. A remote copying examination system designed, developed by us, largely due to the aspirations of people. And we already trained about more than four crore uh, children under PMG Disha under the same program. To us, as I said, we need to rethink. We need to understand our ethos, culture, and appreciate the ethos and culture rather than trying and denigrating them and trying and saying that look, we will look at modern. I think don't make life complex and. To add too many, uh, too many barriers to the growth and potential for people to try and develop, make their lives simpler. That's what skill development. Is. IBM skill fortunately gets into the same uh, format. I remember we do, we do this uh, uh, IIT Mumbai course uh, called uh, uh, studies uh, what is spoken tutorial. We do that. They have some 60 programs. One of the boy in Delhi during the COVID time. Sold the program to housewives and seven lakh rupees. <laughs> That's a learning. That's a learning. But he's a phenomenal guy. He learned of his own. I don't think we have we done that part. Fortunately, the opportunity of this nature are coming phenomenally into our system today. We can still build something of that nature. The second part, which I thought I'll mention and share with you, can I take few minutes a kick? Is what about uh, villages? Our focus is on villages. How to try and develop villages. So what we're doing is. As the honourable prime minister says, the three to six years of age of a child is the most potent age for trying building the seeds for this development and growth. That is the time. So what we are done is we are actually running now called CSC Bal Vidyalay, three to six years of children. We are trying starting these. We have already done about two thousand of them. Idea is to do one in every block, properly, and then of course large number of them. They are technology enabled schools. There is no teacher in these schools. There is a facilitator in these schools. So we say school without a teacher, and they run that part of them. And you can see the potential and the great work in rural India which is being done. I can't do it. I am I am astonished that you push these guys and tell them this is happening, and they do phenomenally well. Now they use 3D. They do all kind of work. They do. We use Alexa for people to have the ability to ask questions and invite them, 
the children start asking questions. So his ability in an institution is enhanced significantly. We have seen this happening around. And if we, can we build in one in every village, every panchayat? Yes, we can build in every panchayat. Why did we for three to so six years? Because three six years does not have government policing to that extent. License nahi lagta. Nahi to fir bahut parishan karega. The teacher will, that inspector will make life hell for the guy. So we said we do only three to six years. Whatever so far we have been okay. If they start poking their nose, we will try to find out a ways of trying and dealing with them at some point time. But that is what we do three six years. We will do by end of this year. Our commitment is to do six thousand of these centers. And our, our contents are designed, our pedagogy, our team is worked very well. Our contents are designed by IIT Delhi and they're phenomenally good content. And we also learning. We learned quite a lot for years together, and that's what we're trying to do. So this is for the children. Then we have a small we call CC Academy, which is a computer lab for youth where people want to learn computers. In villages, everybody who has computing infrastructure, please don't expect them. And they're not allowed. So you, what do you do to you create an assisted format? So you create basic computing structure. We put in clients so that nobody steals them and very cheap, so not very difficult to use that. And then they have connectivity, most of these are now built connectivity fever. And run programs for, they run programs for NALED, they run programs for National Institute of Open Schooling. And they run programs for almost all the people who are trying to do it. They also run programs for people to learn. So whatever a child, whatever a youth learned, school student or college student want to learn, they can learn to the academy and do that part, part of the work. Then for the citizen, we have a common service center which has almost everything what the citizen needs today. Banking, insurance, pension, telehealth, tele-law, tele-consultation on animal husbandry or tele-agriculture. Everything possible which a citizen can envisage to try and get in villages available through CSE ecosystem. So we have a CSE. We were missing something for youth to engage youth and also the women. So what we started now, we have we, we now in some places in Sikhar in Rajasthan we done so we done open gym and we find an exciting story for open gym these women and old people come and do first time they start laughing when they do gym they are not in urban area but there is a phenomenal success story so if you can build this company and see what we call a digital village which is for children which is for young uh, young kids for children for adults for women we of course trying to building some skill programs for them. Uh, like uh, LED assembling units or sanitary pad making units which they can do and sell locally rather uh, than trying and make it sell internationally or nationally. That is very difficult. We understood that game very well. Whatever they can produce and sell locally and meet the expectations of the community with the quality which they show, they should be able to try and generate a business for them. This is a digital village. This is a comprehensive digital village. Of course, we do something for agriculture and uh, uh, farmers. They have almost everything the farmer needs. Uh, even equipment leasing for them or a farmers even loan, credit, whatever they needs. All the partners supports us quite a lot and we tell build for farmers also. So almost the entire community is taken care of. We want to do 100,000 of them. You can adopt some villages, we can call them IBM villages, digital villages. IBM also adopt. But I think a comprehensive development rather than focusing on one certain part of the story is far more meaningful. And of course the internet also will come and build that net program for, for this. 100,000 villages transforming lives of people and we'll do phenomenal work on what is the agenda of creating a Gram Sarwar and an Art Nirmar Bharat. That is what the skill development. Skill development programs is basically this. Don't look for skill development for employment generation. Please don't do that part. The companies will look after themselves. Those who want to employ, they will do themselves. And there is no substitute for training in house. Whatever you do, if an IIT guy comes here, I still need training. I still need in house training. I cannot substitute to anyone. Each company has its own unique culture, ethos. Those cannot be transformed into an outside system. You have to get into this, assimilate that value, culture, understand, and then bring it to that same format. So that part of the work will be there. There is no substitution. People say they can never train people outside. I doubt they can train outside, the company has to train inside, inside training. In fact, you can incentivize companies to train inside, but don't try to incentivize people to try and do outside. So thank you so much. And uh, uh, IBM Skill is a great partner. They have supported us. They supported our CACs. And we should be grateful in taking the channel forward in any format which is acceptable to them. Thank you so much.